big games in the first division. The match played at Highbury, where Arsenal were at home to Manchester City. The pictures come from London Weekend Television, and the commentator is Brian Moore. Graham, Story, Charlie George, and now Book, Bell, Lee. Some of the outside him, Bell skipping through the middle. As for Bell, and McClintock. Story, Bradford. Just these two Arsenal strikers and George Armstrong, and there's a good ball there from Bradford to Armstrong. Taking on and beating Booth, but giving enough of the ball there for Oakes to get in for Manchester City. Oh, but he's beaten them as well. Good play there, and a header there, just passed. Oh, by Radford, and a beautiful cross, though, by Armstrong towards that near post. A tremendous run by Radford. And Radford really uh, so close to putting Arsenal ahead. All the virtues of Armstrong's play there as he fought and he fought and kept possession of that ball, and even fought when it looked a sure thing that Oakes would get it from him. Now Mellor. George Graham. Well, that would have been a goal that the game at the moment badly needed. Armstrong. Oakes. Summerby. George Graham. And Arsenal a little slow to react to that one. And Tony Book. Back to Corrigan. Win Davis versus Roberts, and Roberts put under so much pressure. And Lee very nearly getting in there. Kennedy misjudging that one, but it'll fall for Charlie George in turn for Story. Played off there for Rice. And Rice couldn't withstand that second challenge by Donaghy, but it was an unfair one, and it gives Arsenal the free kick. Two, four, six Arsenal players are forward for this one. The free kick from Pat Rice. Towards George Graham and he couldn't quite get ahead to it. And now it's Summerby to bring it away for Manchester City. Book. Long stride of his. Bell. Book again. And Boo. Roberts that time getting in before Wynn Davis and finding George Armstrong. A flick there for Nelson. Armstrong. Story. Oh, taking far too long and it's uh, now Colin Bell for Manchester City. To Willie Donaghy. Lee. Bell. Charlie George knocked that one down for George Graham. Armstrong. Story. Armstrong again. Nelson. And Arsenal's throw. Such strong competition now that Nelson's going to face now that Bob McNabb is getting fit again. Great strength in this Arsenal uh, first team squad. Armstrong. Nicely kept in. Oh, and he was partially obstructed there by some of it, but he kept going, and it took Colin Bell right back there to get it away. Now it's Booth. McClintock. George. Kennedy, who really hasn't made too much impact on the game so far, being closely watched by that number six, Alan Oakes. Oh, but he played well there to find Charlie George. George couldn't quite find McClintock. Kennedy now. Radford trying to put it through for Charlie George. Oh, and he was far too impetuous, probably with that one, but the uh, Nigel was flagging in any case, and maybe Charlie George had heard the whistle. But it looked as though he intended taking the net and all with that one. Lee. Chasing him into touch. 
City's throw. Council of war there between the three Manchester City players, three of their senior professionals, Lee, Bell and Book. And it's Bell with the throw. And he can find somebody free to throw it to, it's Miller. And you wouldn't think he was particularly three with, uh, free with three Arsenal players in such close attendance, but he made something of it. But now it's George Graham for Arsenal. Off Bell and into touch. Quarter of an hour, the second half gone, half an hour to go. And still nil-nil. Bradford taking a fair from the back by Booth on that occasion. Now Radford with a space opening up ahead of him. But he didn't begin to catch it properly, and uh, he had a lot of ground to make in any case. He was, what, 20, 25 yards, I suppose, from the uh, Manchester City goal. So Donaghy now for Manchester City. Mella. Dintock doing well. Bell. Now Charlie George. But Donaghy off in pursuit. Inside for Radford, and he's got Kennedy up with him. Still Radford, and he's got Armstrong over on this left-hand side. Unmarked, and too hard. He might have had time to assist himself a little more, because certainly there was no City player within, what, seven, eight, ten yards of him. But a good piece of play by Armstrong, running into that position. A good play also by uh, Charlie George and Radford that set it up for him. Certainly, if Arsenal are going to make 1.2, I think it's the likes of Charlie George and George Graham dominating the middle of the field that are going to do it. It's George Graham, in fact, going for that one, winning it in the air. Armstrong to tuck it on again. Tommy Booth. McClintock. And straight there for Summerby. Wynn Davis outside him and George Graham coming back to challenge and Summerby getting up and doing very well indeed. And a shot there straight at Wilson. Dog in play there by Mike Summerby as well. Lord picked himself up and then got in his shot. Kennedy. And ball against Donaghy. Arsenal's free kick. McClintock, the skipper, to take it. Aiming towards uh, Kennedy. He couldn't turn, couldn't nod it down for Charlie George. Roberts going in powerfully and again. He is penalised. His elbows were too high on the back of uh, Wynn Davis. What a great battle these two have had all afternoon. Lee, a bell rather, not quite getting on to the end of that one, but a good run. And Nelson to Wilson. Bradford. Bradford once more, Armstrong, Charlie George, Kennedy, the challenge by Bell was too strong for Story, Lee, catching McClintock off balance for a moment, all between the legs of George Graham for Colin Bell, bearing down hard on that goal. the ball looked for a moment as though it was going to beat Donaghy but he uh, matched it ball still in play and Roberts predictably back to Wilson George is going to take it. It looks like he's going to take it uh, quickly, but he wasn't taking it from the right place. 
so McClintock to take it. Radford to try and get to it. Armstrong. George Graham. Kenneth uh, Nelson. And not it away. Now Charlie George. Can he do something? Can he do it again? No, but it's a corner. and in fact Pat Rice is also getting a bit of attention at the same time. They both are okay again and it's Armstrong with the corner for Arsenal. George Graham is there once more but in fact the foul against George Graham versus Nelson and the throw to Manchester City towards Radford now McClintock and now Nelson and Nelson and it's given City standing bewildered Nelson himself seemed to hesitate for a moment but the smile tells everything now and the goal is given Colin Bell having a fierce word there with the referee and the referee's eyes are blazing. And Bell quite clearly feeling that uh, Nelson was offside. So his first goal, putting Arsenal ahead and breaking the deadlock. George Graham, Roberts right up there. Can Roberts get in one? No! Charlie George trying to stop it before it goes out and turn it back first time, but Doyle now. And City at the moment a little bit at odds with each other and needing just a moment of breathing space to reform. But I can't think that Arsenal are going to give it to them. McClintock now to Kennedy. Summerby. Far too far ahead of Lee. Well, that uh, poses problems there for Malcolm Allison and uh, Joe Mercer. Radford turning it nicely off for George Armstrong. Oaks. from Steve Burtonshaw. He must have wondered how he was going to find a way past Manchester City. Well, it was done under controversial terms, but it's uh, a goal that counts, and now it's Oakes. Doyle. And that's past the Arsenal post. Could well see more and more of Mike Doyle coming forward now as City try and do something about this uh, one-goal deficit. Urging uh, more effort now from Manchester City as Bob Wilson takes this goal kick. Oh, no. 
twice, quicker than anybody to react to that one. But not a very good pass. Oaks. And now Mella. And a goal! Beautifully taken by Ian Mella. A wonderful economy of effort after he was put through. A real streaking ground shot, giving Wilson no chance. And the ball for Lee is going through at a tremendous pace, and Rice did exactly the right thing there. Turning it away for the corner, giving other defenders a chance to come back. It was Rice against Lee, and the slightest slip could have let Francis Lee in. Number five, Tommy Booth has gone chugging into that Arsenal penalty area once more, looking to get ahead to that one, but in fact it's Kennedy putting it away there. Story! And nearly putting it into his own goal. Wilson needed to tip that one over. Story, in fact, uh, glancing that one back under pressure from Francis Lee. And so another corner then to Manchester City. Summerby with the corner. And Wilson catching it well. Donaghy and Doyle combining very neatly there. Donaghy taking it up again. Doyle missing it completely. But finding the angle is right to try and get Tony Book away. Bell couldn't get past Story. Lee could. Characteristic Francis Lee flick. Now Oaks. Summerby. Donaghy. Everybody but uh, Corrigan in that Arsenal half. Bell getting above them all. And now Lee hitting one across there. And it's there by Colin Bell. So coming from behind now to lead by two goals to one. A low, devastating cross by Francis Lee and Colin Bell getting in on the end of it. So there, a cracking goal by Colin Bell and a very good result indeed for Manchester City and the pace at the top of the first division as unrelenting as ever.